Hello, we're back. Hospital Blog 2, the sequel. I hope it's more of a Godfather 2 than a Ghostbusters 2, but I'll let you be the judge of that. First of all, just in case Lisa is watching, I'll dispen dispense with the eye patch. I wouldn't want you having a morbid fear in my face. I'll pop on my sunglasses again. The only slight problem is I can't see a thing and therefore I can't read the auto cue. Uh, thanks to those of you who came in last night to visit. I really enjoyed it. It was great chat. Mostly talking about the disasters that happened in my career, which explains why the visit went on so long. Um, there must have been some successes in there somewhere, and I'll try and think of one for next time. I said to the guys last night that that was probably my last hospice visit. The reason is they're going to send me home. To be honest, I only came here three weeks ago because thought I had a few days to live. Uh, unfortunately, uh, two and a half stone of weight gain and a general stabilisation later, they begin to wonder whether or not I've got longer than they thought. So they're going to send me home. I guess the next time I come in this hospice, it'll be in different circumstances and I probably won't be making, making silly video films and probably won't be having visitors. I'll be at home though, so always available for those amongst you who wish to come and um, provide chocolates, etc, etc. As I say, this has been my last hospice vlog. Um, the last one seemed to go down alright actually. It was over 70 views, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, I think the poem made a difference. So this time I'm going to try and do another poem. Not such a famous one. It was written in February this year when I got the new diagnosis of cancer in my spine and the doctor said you've got about a 20% chance to live even with a new cutting edge treatment there was a brief moment where I sort of wobbled for about 4 seconds and my wife told me to get my finger out so in a fit of stupidity I wrote a poem to try and give me strength and that along with Invictus is one that I recited every day really throughout the process so I'll read that to you now in a sort of self-indulgent sort of way and maybe, just maybe, if you ever come across a situation like this in the future, you can get some strength from that. It's called Fight On. Until you're told there is no hope, you must keep battling on. Don't dread the places you may have to go and where light has never shone. The indignities may yet bring you down, your body loses strength. But you should not fear the lows you'll face or look to check the journey's length. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, you simply can't give in. Never believe this desperate fight is one you cannot win. If someone else has survived this before, know you can do it too. But even if no one has done yet, believe you can pull through. From somewhere deep inside of you, there's strength you must find. Because you have a duty to those around you, not to leave the ones you love behind. Life worships the hero or the one that wins the race, but the true winner is the one that carries on when he stare death in the face. I recited that most days in the Western, and I guess I did stare death in the place, face, and I guess I blinked, but I gave it a damn good go. So anyway, that's from me. Hospice Blog 2, probably a Ghostbusters 2. Miss you all.